Hi everyone, this is Douglas at PCC, and today I'm going to show you the awesome power of the PCC EHR Visit Status Counter feature, including seven tips with custom visit status ideas sent in by pediatric practices around the country. First up, what's a visit status counter anyway? I'm pretending to be Dr. Mark today, and I'm logged in as him, and on my schedule screen, I've got things set so I see only my visits for today. I can see I have three patients with the ReadyProv visit status. I'm getting a little behind. Uh, that means they're in the room and ready for me. Great. But if I opened a chart or went someplace else in PCC EHR, I can always see that I've got three patients waiting for me. Because right down here, the visit status counter tells me three patients have that light blue ready prov status. That's a visit status counter. So uh, tip number one, if I forget what that number means, I can hover the mouse over it and I'll see it. No matter what I'm doing in PCC EHR, that visit status counter will let me know. Now I'm also watching two other visit status counters. I keep track of how many patients are ready nurse, so I can see if my nurse is getting backed up. Now my nurses use this same status counter, and if a single nurse is covering more than one pediatrician, it's no big deal. The visit status counters count all the patients with a certain visit status that are visible on their custom schedule screen. Whenever a visit's status changes, the counters change to match it. So tip number two, your practice can select special visit statuses that are outside the typical cycle of a visit. In addition to clicking my way through visit statuses, I can also click on this little arrow here and select exactly the one I want. I can do that here on the schedule screen. And I can do it here on the chart note while I'm taking vitals or doing whatever. On my practices list of visit statuses, you can see the typical ones, but what's nudge? This is tip number three. A pediatrician sent this in as a recommendation to PCC. They wanted a way for their nurse to let them know things are backing up, or they've been in the exam room for a long time. Uh, the physician actually called this the get a move on status. So if I'm charting a patient and I see this visit status counter, I know a nurse is nudging me to get a move on. Uh, they might assign that status to a patient who's been waiting a long time. I have another custom status too. Rescue prov. If I'm in an exam room with a patient and I want an early, polite exit, or I just want the nurse to come into the room and get me, I can change the visit status counter to Rescue Prov. The nurses in my practice will see the Rescue Prov visit status on the schedule and on their own visit status counters if they follow it, and they can take action. If you think Rescue Prov is too obvious since mom or dad may look at a PCC EHR screen sometimes, consider RP or Overtime or something a little more subtle. Okay, tip number five. As you've seen in this video, your practice can define what visit statuses you will use. Uh, my practice administrator can open the visit status configuration tool and customize both the ordinary statuses that are in the visit cycle, those are up here, you can see, and special statuses that I want to pick for different reasons. I can name them, pick a color, and decide whether or not they'll be in the visit status cycle. By the way, there are some great tools on the internet for creating attractive color palettes, if that's your thing. Here are some popular visit statuses that PCC practices are using right now. Uh, we already talked about Rescue Prov, or use an abbreviation like RP, a Nudge to tell the physician to get a move on, um, Out for Lab, uh, if your patient is gone but expected back that day because of a lab done out of the office. Some practices are using done, which means the patient is finished but still in the office, or breastfeeding. Basically, a visit status is all about patient visit workflow. So any description that might help you coordinate a patient's visit with the rest of your office might make a good visit status. Tip number six, every user at your practice, a nurse, someone at the front desk, whoever, can decide which visit status encounters will appear down here at the bottom of the screen or you can set it up for them. Users can make the change in the My Account tool, where they can indicate which visit statuses should have counters on their screen. But an administrator at your practice can do all of this for any user in the User Administration tool. 
Okay, there you go. You now understand the basics of visit statuses in PCC EHR and the power of visit status counters. My last tip, tip number seven, get in touch. If your practice has an awesome custom visit status that improves patient workflow at your practice, send it to us, please, or share it on PCC Talk. And if you'd like help with visit statuses, speak with your client advocate. They can show you everything from this video in more detail right on your PCC system. Thanks for watching.